Hello and welcome to the 99th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. I'm not going to be coding anymore or in this work in this tutorial or in any more tutorials in this series. In this part we're just going to be looking at the Bootstrap websites we made so I can just show you what is actually achievable and what we've done. So let's go on to our website. First of all, we'll show you sonarsystems.co.uk. And this has been recently updated about a month or so ago using Bootstrap Framework. So we got our button, we got our menu at the top, Sonar Game, the little showcase of our game, we got some buttons, Sonar Learning, some information, we got some social buttons, this is an external plugin, we got another logo, and if we click the About Us, this loads up a modal, if we click the Contact Us, this loads up a contact form, and if we resize our browser, everything resizes accordingly, and if I'm going to do really small, and now everything just goes on to one line, as you can see, so this is our company website and now we're going to show you our Sonar Learning website and that is, you can just click on this link but I'm going to type it out it is sonarlearning.co.uk and now we have obviously our menu at the top you can choose a topic so these little boxes are part of actually the flat UI framework so I'll show you that as well, flat UI this is what we showed in a previous tutorial so this is what I'm using for Sonar Learning for Sonar Systems we are just using raw bootstrap free no extra frameworks on top and for this we're using flat UI but that's using bootstrap as is underlying core anyway so it's basically bootstrap and we have our footer down here and if we start resizing it everything resizes very nicely now as you can see this menu is different now instead of it being a text it's just two or three lines I should say and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on one of these, so web development and the search bar and all of this, a lot of this using the flat UI and bootstrap free as well so as you can see I've got two of these boxes on one row and when I start resizing they resize accordingly but when I get to a smaller size they go on to one line and they're still very visible and if you visit this website on a mobile device they look really really good so let's just resize it and I'm just going to open up a tutorial series I'm going to open up the bootstrap free, why not and we have again this is a really cool thing it saves the average course length, this actually needs to be updated which I'll, I'll do this after this video the skill level required for this course and if you keep resizing it, it's all on one line but when it gets to a small browser size it goes on multiple lines and we've added some code so there is a faint horizontal line and then we have our lessons and if we start resizing it looks really cool and it resizes accordingly and now what we're going to do, the last thing is open up one of these lessons so what is bootstrap, why not? so we have the video we have some extra details, some links that we can click on, private note taking, save note button and now I'm going to show you what happens when we resize it still resizing very nicely and resizing it, and it's at a really small size now but everything is still usable so this is how it would look on a mobile device, on a tablet device and now on a desktop device so here's a couple of examples of websites that we've created using Bootstrap Free if you have any questions at all related to bootstrap or programming in general feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk usually we put source code in the description as we haven't actually been dealing with any source code and we're obviously not going to put the source code to our websites in the description there'll be no links but to see over 6,000 completely free videos just like this one visit well sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day